practically, what are some of the lessons you learned, the harsh lessons, the tough lessons that you learned during that process? I mean, what, what could you share with us? Look, I think that um, one of the biggest lessons that I learned was the ability to be nimble, you know, and, and one of the benefits of being a startup and is that you basically got the smell of an ORAC. You know, mm. you, you go, well, how can I generate revenue and, and, and how do I keep the cost so I can just keep in business for as long as the revenue like goes up? And, and in whether it was the on-course bookmaking business or the telephone business or the tipping business that I'm in now or the odds comparison business, uh, all of those businesses, I run them ultra lean. We have a very small team of highly skilled people, but don't expand. TomWaterhouse.com, because we were in that environment, of an expanding market that just opened up with marketing, we got really big quick. And um, that w was an amazing journey and turned out to be, luckily, a really great outcome to sell to William Hill. But it's a, it's a scary environment to be in where you're growing your cost base at a greater rate than your revenue. Yeah. And um, that is... Um, uh, and you get sort of locked into it too. You get, and it becomes, you, you sort of, to keep that growth going and to keep the business where you've got to keep spending mm. and um it requires uh, capital yeah and we were very lucky to uh, to sell to william hill and, and do that deal because we bit off more than we could chew in many ways in terms of advertising spend for a business so small and so at the start of the journey we were trying to keep up with the likes of tabcorp or Sportsbet or ladbrokes these are huge multinational billion dollar companies and we're like a small family operation just 18 months into the well, journey. It's an interesting thing because I mean, at the same